I don't think I've laughed as hard as I've laughed with Kevin in this scene. Oh my God, I don't get many fine scenes. Can I have one of those, please? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cole Hauser. Hey, I'm Wes Billy. We're going to answer IMDb's burning questions. Bring your best. And I'll bring mine. What is the funniest thing that's happened on set so far? <laughs> I don't think I can say this on television. <laughs> We're on the internet. You're fine. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not going to say that one. Give me a good. <laughs> I think watching Foyer J. Smith run. <laughs> it's one of the greatest gates of all time. He's laughing, no way. For a little bit, Kelly and I, we were trying to flip each other off in scenes. I was really working it for a while. <laughs> you are evil. You know that. You have to know that. Which cast member is most like their character in real life? I'm going to go Jefferson White, Jimmy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Trying really hard to think of something to say and just nothing's coming out. He's really smart, but like, and then he'll say something real stupid. Hey, what's this horse's name? Jimmy, you've been riding this horse for a month. You still don't know his name? It's Ray. I thought you rode Ray. He also Dude. never <laughs> no horse or done any of that stuff, right? Should I pet him? His got so chapped at Cowboy Camp that they had to put band-aids all over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which cast member is least like their character in real life? Kelly, just because one, she's British. You know, she's got a sweetheart. Polar opposite to Beth. Not at all. Pleasure's all mine. You know, I'm sure she can get mad, but I don't think it's like that. <clears throat> How's that taste? And she struggled with that first season. Yeah. Right? But man, she just... <laughs> Lit yeah. that fire and now it's off. <laughs> Stop. Be a man! Stop. Be a man! Yellowstone has obviously seen some pretty iconic villains. If you could bring any back, who would it be? Love Danny Houston. What do you want? He was the perfect evil for the show, I thought. Like he just like smiled at the right places. I just thought he did an amazing job. He played that that smart, kind of a smarminess so well, but like Taylor always does, he writes the characters complete, so you still kind of like them. <laughs> I know how to crush empires and I will crush your fathers. What's something that most people don't know about Kevin Costner? Obviously he has this great kind of Western legacy, but he's really this kind of laid back, cool, um, you know, guy that's from Southern Cal. He also smells like baseball. <laughs> like a baseball glove? Yeah. <laughs> kind of dubious honor. No, oh, no, no, not really, I'm just joking. I might be from sitting in the saddle for 12 hours a day. <laughs> your logic is so flawed, son. It Hell, it almost makes sense. <laughs> Cole, what do you think Rip and Beth's dream wedding would look like? Yeah, it would have to be like on top of a mountain somewhere, just the two of them, I think, you know, with a few uh, libations and just a bonfire and beautiful view. You know, when you boil life down, it's funny. Just how little you need, isn't it? Okay, can anyone tell me what a livestock commissioner actually does in real life? Because you guys make it look like James Bond on this show. <laughs> I've been dreading this question for years. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you. The duties of the livestock agent focus on buying and selling farm animals on behalf of their clients. That's not what I thought. Hey. That's what I thought here. And I don't know. I don't know if that's the way we portray them either. <laughs> livestock Commission's got no authority here. Those look like livestock to me.